Well, good morning, Junior. I hope you're ready. We're going on a trip. We're going to King's Hill. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Right, are you ready? That's it, look intense as if you are ready. Okay? One, two, three. Mahaba. Nihoi. Hola. Ha, lo. Hi. Salam. What? Why was I saying those strange words? Well, they weren't really strange, but perhaps you'll find out a bit in a minute. It's hello in different languages. Is that all right? Yeah, good. Right. So, hello, Kings Hill. It's really great to be with you at St Gabriel's. Happy birthday. What? Yes, it's a birthday. Will we have a party? Oh, yes, we're bound to have a party. It's Kings Hill. Have we got a card? Oh, I'm not sure about that. No, I, I don't know about a present either. What? Will we play games? Oh, bound to play games, I think, Junior. Yeah, and will there be a cake? <gasps> King's Hill always has cakes. It must be. We need to get ready, yeah. What? Whose birthday is it? Hmm. That's the good part. It's everybody's birthday. Does it make sense? Well, it does, because it's the church's birthday. And we know that the church is all the people who follow Jesus. So it's everybody's birthday. What? When did this birthday start? Well, it was a long, long, long time ago. And here is the story of it. Listen carefully. So here's the story, Junior. You'll find it in the Bible in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. All right, are you ready? So, after Jesus had died, he told his friends to wait in a special room until a special gift was given. Yes, a present. And he told them to wait and then they would receive it. So they did wait. Well something very strange happened. While they were waiting, the special present arrived. And do you know how it arrived first? It came like a mighty rushing wind. Woo! Woo! Yes, just like that. Oh, gosh. We better do our hair again, hadn't we? And then... It came like tongues of fire, but the fire did not burn them. Wow, how strange was that? And then something special happened. They started speaking in different languages. Yes, just like we did at the beginning in different languages that people could understand the good news about Jesus wherever they came from. So a man from Africa would say, I understand now. And then someone else would say, I'm from Spain and even I can understand now. And then a lady from Italy would say, I can understand now. Wasn't that amazing? Yes, it really was amazing. And then they found that the present, the gift of the Holy Spirit, could help them in all sorts of ways. It could help them to be more like Jesus. Yeah, that's good. Let's put our hands up for that. They could be more loving. They could be show joy and peace and patience, kindness, goodness and faith. All those gifts, the fruit of the Spirit, they called it. not very good with patience. Neither am I. But that's why we have the Holy Spirit to help us. And you know something else? The people there remembered something. Mm, they did. They remembered 
that a long, long, long time ago, a holy man called Joel had told people that this would happen. What? How did Joel know? God told him. <gasps> yeah, it's amazing. God actually spoke to him. We ask the Holy Spirit to help us in all our days to live more like Jesus. Oh, Junior, is it time for the birthday cake? Well, actually it is. But shall we say our prayers first? Yeah, it's good to say our prayers, right? Are you ready? Then, so in our prayers today, we are going to place on our birthday cake, you see we've got it here, we're going to place a birthday candle for each prayer and then at the end we'll light it. Is that okay? Good, right. So let's pray. Lord, for your wonderful world we pray. Help us to take better care of it. For our next prayer, Lord, for your church all over the world, we pray. Especially we pray where the church is really struggling and people are afraid to worship. Lord, we also pray for those families who are known to us who are struggling at the moment. Help us, Lord, to help them in whatever way we can. Lord Jesus, we pray for all who are sick. Send your Holy Spirit of healing, we pray, just as you did at Pentecost. Mm. Lord, we pray for those places where there is war or misunderstanding. Help them to understand each other and live in peace just as you did with different people at Pentecost. Lord, we pray for everyone who is sad this day because someone has died. I know it's very sad. Send your Holy Spirit to comfort them just as you did at Pentecost. Now, let's wait a moment, Junior as we light the candles. You see what happens when we say our prayers? Things brighten up. And now we have added our little light of Christ into the world. Send the Holy Spirit's power on us, Lord, just as you did on that church long ago. Amen. Well, I think it's time for us to do some activities now, isn't it? Do you think so now, Julia? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Well, first of all, what we want to do is we want to Get the boys and girls and mums and dads at home, and perhaps some even might be in church now. Look at your hair, Junior. What am I going to do with it? First of all, what we'd like them to do is to make a special party hat. All right? Here's one I've got now. See if I can put it on you. Oh, no, does it look good on you? I think it looks better on me. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's not very good, is it? How about that? Is that better? Yes, I think that's better. So perhaps everybody would like to make a Holy Spirit party hat. And then we've also got our activity sheets. So there's pictures to colour. There's a code to break. And there's some word searches. And there's some Holy Spirit doves to find. And some little flames of fire. Well, how about that? So do you think now at Kings Hill they would have had a good time, Junior? Do you think so? Oh, I do hope so. Do you know, Junior, I've got a feeling one day, very, very soon, you and me and maybe George. Yes, old George, yes. You 
and me and old George might actually see the people at King's Hill. Would we like that? Yes, we would. So can we say goodbye now? Bye! See you soon!